Hey, what's up guys, boys and girls, fellow collectors from all around the world. Ivan Seb, the French collector, is back for yet another video, guys. Want this slide just... Oh, finally. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. October 1st, my favorite month of the year, has officially started. So, I'm back here. I haven't been down here in a long time. This workshop that I love so much where I modded so many statues and figures in the past. My proton pack also. And I spent a big part of the evening modding a figure again here. But that's not what this video is about. I just needed a break. I'm still not finished. So I thought, you know, since we're in October now, I'm going to start taking out my Halloween stuff. And maybe throughout the month, I'm going to share with you guys a few... Um, horror related videos right it's halloween after all um and i'm gonna start by sharing with you guys my small collection of um horror themed pins so i'm not really a huge pin collector right i'm not big into pins but a few years ago maybe three years ago something like that two years ago can't remember for sure i was browsing on my Instagram, right? And uh, I randomly came across this post of a pin that I thought was amazing. And I clicked on that page and I started looking at the different pins on this page. And I ended up buying a few, made, a, made myself a small collection. And I absolutely love them. They're all from the same guy, an artist. His name is Sean Kelch. Uh, and... Um, he went by the name of Raz Christ on Instagram, and that was the name of his uh, online uh, shop as well, where he sold his pins. But I think it was a problem with his Instagram. They took down his page, so now he has a new one that's called Rotten and Gross. Uh, I'll post a link to his page in the com in the in the description of this video. Uh, I'm sadly he stopped making pins now, which is a pity because this guy. His pins, I'll show them to you right now. So I'll only wear them on rare occasions, uh, except this one that I wear permanently because Ghostface is my favorite horror movie character, right? Scream is my favorite slasher of all time. And this one, I got three of them. So I can wear this one permanently. The others on rare occasions, right? Because first of all, they, they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap either, right? You pay for the quality. Um, so I'm always afraid that I might lose one or just that it might fall off and get scratched or damaged. I really want to take good care of them, uh, keep them as, as long as possible. I absolutely love them. Sean is an American artist. He designs them. The artwork is phenomenal, guys. And then they are made in China, but the quality is great. Um, they are really big and quite heavy. So all of them are double posted. In the back, you have his name here. Raz Christ. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Some of them are have these little hearts in the back, which is hilarious. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you now my little collection of pins, guys. Starting with my favorite one, obviously, like I said, Scream. And not just any Scream, but Scream 5, aka Scream 2022. The movie was just called Scream. Which makes me very happy because um, Scream 5 is my second favorite. Yes, guys, you heard that right. I don't care what anybody says to me. Scream 5 was the best one since the first movie. Sadly, I cannot say the same about Scream 6. But anyway, it makes me so happy because it's from that scene where Dewey, who's my favorite character, meets his maker <clears throat> finally. So you got three variants. Like I said, got three of the same. This one with the blood splatters, absolutely beautiful, but maybe a bit too gory to wear outside in the street. <laughs> but I love it. I absolutely love it. But what's the difference between these two? You might wonder. Well, the one in the middle is the main one. And why is the one on the left? Why does it have such a strange color? Well, I'm gonna show you right now because it glows in the dark beautiful <laughs> absolutely beautiful so this one was the one i was wearing earlier in the video on my denim jacket and i love it i love it so much it's beautiful man i love it so if there's anyone out there who's familiar with uh, ras christ and who owns some of his pins 
um, throwing this out there, I am looking for a Scream 1 pin with uh, Casey Becker, aka Drew Barrymore. If you have one and you want to sell it, send me a message. Okay, so this one technically isn't from a horror movie, but it's a damn horrific scene. <laughs> that one kept me from sleeping for weeks when I was a kid. From Robocop, Emil's death. Emil Antonovsky, played by, I believe that was Paul McCrane, the name of the actor. That was a horrible, horrible scene. That was gory as hell. And hilarious at the same time. He goes to his pal, he's like, help me. His buddy Leon is like, don't touch me, man. <laughs> Hilarious. I love it. I love it. Giving you a closer look at it. Damn it. We got these bones sticking out of his melting fingers. Freaking insane. So if you're familiar with Ras Christ pins and maybe you own some of them, you can call yourself a horror movie fan if you don't own at least one classic 1978 Halloween pin. This is a masterpiece, best slasher of all time. So here we have Michael Myers, Nick Castle. Damn, I love that mask. Stalking Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis. So earlier when I said that the first cream is my favorite slasher, I meant it. But with the first Halloween, I love these two movies equally. Still, I would rank Halloween number two on my list for the simple reason that as a kid, I'd never watched Halloween. The Scream, I watched this movie over and over again. Uh, I actually damaged the tape on my, on my VHS <laughs> because I watched that movie too much. And the first Scream, remember that scene at the end when they're staying at Stu's house and they, they're watching Halloween? Well, this is how I got introduced to Halloween. I was like, this movie that they're watching I gotta watch it. And I immediately fell in love with Halloween. So I'm not sure that's the main design. Uh, that's probably a variant, but I chose this one just because I love the colors so much. Very reminiscent of this time of year. You know, the color of leaves, the color of pumpkins, basically just the color of Halloween. And also the outline of the pin and the lines inside somewhat raise a bit more compared to the other pins, which depending where the light comes from, um, creates different shadows. It's absolutely beautiful. Because one just wasn't enough, I had to buy a second Halloween pin. Also Michael Myers from the 78 movie, Nick Castle mask, this time with the um, Abandoned Myers house. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We got Michael here standing in front of the moon. The artwork is stellar, guys. It's mind blowing. And this pin, again, let me show you. It glows in the dark again. Look at this, it's amazing. The moon and the windows as well. And seeing it like this with the, all lights on, the moon just looks like a plain yellow color. But once you see it glowing in the dark, you got different tones in there. As you can see, it's almost like going outside and taking a look at the real moon with the terrain relief. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. This pin is fantastic. Look at the level of detail with the shattered glass, shattered windows, and even down there in the corner, you got the little pumpkin. It's freaking fantastic. Damn. So here's the exception, because this one has nothing to do with horror movies. You know, Raz Christ may be known for his uh, horror pins but he's a huge movie buff and so am i and here we have drive with ryan gosling and carrie mulligan and i had to buy this one first of all because i absolutely love this masterpiece but also because i love driving actually it's what i do for a living i'm a driver myself 
and I absolutely love the colors of this pin, you know, neon purple and pink with a bit of blue, very reminiscent of the style of the movie and all these synthwave music videos, you know, that you find on YouTube, night drive music and whatnot. Retro futuristic outrun art, beautiful, love the glitter in there. It's so sparkly. It's a stunning, stunning pin and it's huge and heavy. I love it. And last but not least, one of the greatest horror movies ever made, especially in recent years, The Lighthouse with Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. What a masterpiece. I remember the first time I watched this movie, I was so shocked. I must have watched it like three times back to back and probably six or seven times in that same week. <laughs> So look at it, black and white with the lighthouse over there in the middle, in the back. Likenesses of Pattinson and Defoe are absolutely amazing. Say it, you're fond of me lobster, ain't you? <laughs> Fucking love this movie, it's so awkward, but I love it. So that's pretty much it guys, that was the last one. So uh, as you can see, small collection, but beautiful nonetheless. I'm proud of these pins, proud to own them, and it really sucks that he stopped making them. So I'll leave a, a link to his website in the description. Please go contact him and try to convince him to keep up the good work. We need more of these, I need more of these. And if you watch this till the end and you own some of them, like I said, I'm looking for a Casey Becker pin from the first scream and also a pin with uh, dr loomis from halloween i need these two and that'll be it maybe a freddy krueger one too guys thanks for watching that was Ivan seb the french collector and i'm out of here